Now, I want to talk more about this fader and the input, output, and signal flow. So, right here, I've got my delay. It's going into here, right? And I'll play it back. Yeah, boy. I can raise this up and get more delay. Ooh, no, well, well, well. I can also mute it and get no delay. Back on, we have delay. And what I can also do, I'm going to get the pop-out fader here for this send A assignment. And I can go to pre or post. Now, right now, we got it post. This is the pre or post fader button. I'll select pre, and I'll play it back again. Yeah. So we're hearing more sound now, you hear that? We're hearing more of this reverb. Let me bring the reverb down a little bit more now. Yeah, boy. Now I'll turn this back to post. Yeah, boy. So what we're doing, we're hearing less reverb. Now what's happening here is that the send, this delay send, is actually going through the fader first then it's going here into the delay. That's post. That means after the fader here. When I go pre, it's going before this fader. So it's going from here, this delay, directly into here for this verb. And I'll press play again. Yeah, boy. Now if I mute this, See, so you're talking about dry yeah, signal right there, right? Well, well, well. And you could see there's a lot of reverb coming in right there. Now, when I go post, yeah, boy. let me do this. Nothing's going in there. But if I go pre, You see it's going in. So the fader's muted here, but the signal is coming from this delay, send A, directly into the auxiliary reverb track right there. And that's pre and post on your fader.